Yes, it is me, Market Vendor, here again today. Well, we got over 31,000 people apparently claim unemployment, according to Dr. Kevin Greenwich. I listened to him carefully in that speech there, so at the Barbados Rotary Club last week. And let me tell you something, he got a style of delivery, that real, real sweet, he just break it down for you. Man, let me tell you, he get down to what is called a granular level. If you don't understand what he's saying, you was a bear income poop. Here we market telling you, because he might just break it down for you. But when he tell you about the level of claims by the NIS, mm, how the hard was it? 71,000 or something so in the last year, six or seven months, compared to the average of a thousand normally, it is bringing it home to you. So you see me, market vendor, a lot of people are turning to small businesses and becoming entrepreneurial. You ain't got no choice. Try and get the skill. If cooking is your skill, then that's who you call him. And let me tell you, I've been eating some food from some small people recently. That tastes so good. Some of them so-called big restaurants can't touch it, can't come closely. Here what market telling you, I don't talk about price. I wonder how some of them making a profit. Uh, at the price that when they could get a nice big bowl of soup uh, for fifteen or sixteen dollars and I'm got meat in it and dumplings and enough provisions. Let me tell you something, root crops, boy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, when I talk about restaurants, me and going in the class of shakers and salt and champers, my favorite places and so on. No, no, no. You can't touch them. They're them in a the class by themselves. But they got some small people that are doing vending and selling and being creative, baking, you know, and delivering too as well. Here we're telling you, and for free too. Here we're market telling you. So you see me market vendor, I feel that you're going to have to ease up things a little bit. And you got to have regulations. So you see the new Fairchild Street Market, we can talk about that this morning after I see it properly for myself. But we got to allow people in the areas where people just congregate. Up in Warren's, that's becoming a very popular spot. You don't want nobody to get killed on the highway. But you got to create some opportunities and some avenues. Because enough people just go through Warren's when the day come. And be able to help yourself. You know, do a little vending. Right now, I could pretty much do all my shopping. If I start up by the airport and come down the road. And by the time I get to Warren's, I'm not careful. <laughs> I could get eggs. I could get coconuts. I could get corn. Um, I could even get, you know, corn, uh, wait, popcorn. I could get watermelons. I could get fruits and vegetables on the highway. Yes, let me tell you something. I only looking out for some clothing. I could get ackees. Uh, I could get uh, even the coconut jelly and all them kinds of things. Nap, nap things. So by the time I get down the road, what well, I sort out, long time. Okay. You see me market vendor. I believe you have to find a creative way to allow people to do some vending. I was only a vendor, like them, and I gone for now. You have a blessed and a wonderful day. Yeah. <laughs>